Several nonprofits threw their support behind a 42-unit affordable housing development near Shawnee Park today. The proposal is $14 million, and the church leading the project says the funding for it is almost all secured. WHAS 11 reporter Travis Breeze is in studio now with what the project will offer and also some pushback on it. Travis. Shay, this project is being called Renaissance on Broadway, and it's going to cater to low-income people in the Shawnee and Chickasaw neighborhoods. The developers want it to be half filled with seniors. While the church is very high on this project, some neighborhood groups are worried about how it will be maintained. It's my hope and prayer that our elected officials would continue to get behind this very, very important project. A show of support from various nonprofits Friday saying that Renaissance on Broadway is something the West End needs. I hope that not only is it a waiting list, I'm hoping that it drives us to say, how can we now build more of these around our community? I'm looking forward to other pastors being able to engage in this same uh, a level of building, uh, developing. Head pastor Michael Ford Jr. with Christ Temple Christian Life Center has been working on this project since 2021. On Friday, he was joined by Elder Serve and Dare to Care, who were equally excited. They will be able to come here, we'll be able to go there and offer our services to make sure that everyone's covered. Some neighbors have been worried about how the development will fit in and how it will be maintained. The Westover Neighborhood Association submitted a letter claiming a historic building on the church's property has not been maintained, so it does not trust that the new project will be kept up. The letter also says a concentration of low-income senior housing in one area may depreciate home values. This is part of what Metro Council and what the mayor and what the city is looking for. Every we, We're saying that the need is so great for affordable housing. Pastor Ford is continuing as if the project will be approved. The city says it may be on the agenda for next Tuesday. This project has been approved by the Planning Commission, but it still needs the full approval of Metro Council. Pastor Michael Ford says they have raised almost all of the $14 million, which includes a $9 million tax credit award from the state of Kentucky. In the studio, Travis Breeze, WHAS 11, on your side. All right, Travis, thank you. In addition to offering physical activities and games for the residents, Elder Surf is also looking into a car sharing system that could be used by all residents around the area.